We're going to demonstrate a uh, patient with a flaccid drop foot who's an excellent candidate for the Ritchie Dynamic Assist Brace. Uh, the criteria for that particular brace is the fact that the patient has a flaccid drop foot. Uh, even when asked to hold the foot dorsiflex, the patient is unable to do so. There's no eversion strength at all as they attempt to push against my hand. And in this case, very little inversion strength, just a little. Fairly good plantar flexion strength though, but no spasticity. So the main criteria is flaccid drop foot, no spasticity with loading, and finally, no equinus. With our tractograph set at 90 degrees, and if we load this foot, we can see that with a little bit of effort, we can get the patient just to 90, and there's no spasticity. Therefore, if the patient can achieve 90 degrees, we classify them as not having equinus, and therefore are a candidate for a hinged dynamic assist brace to correct the drop foot deformity. Here is the same patient with drop foot deformity walking with and without the Ritchie dynamic assist brace. And it is clear the brace has the ability to control the drop foot deformity at the ankle, but also addresses the compensation which is seen at the knee level. A patient with stage 2 adult acquired flat foot can be successfully treated with the standard hinged Ritchie brace. The control of the foot is demonstrated both during swing phase and during the stance phase of gait. A patient with bilateral flat foot deformity but unilateral symptoms is successfully treated again with the standard Ritchie brace as well as a custom foot orthosis on the unaffected side. It is also important that proper athletic shoes be worn to help influence the controlling features of the Ritchie brace.